everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.5 I'm actually gonna be showing you how to install two shaders packs in this video but this will work with any shaders pack as long as it's 1.16 compatible. If it's compatible with any version of 1.16, it should work in Minecraft 1.16.5 shaders. So yeah, we're going to be going over all of that in this video. We're going to be showing you how to install two specific packs, how to find a few more, and if you do have any other shaders packs that aren't mentioned on our list here or in this video in any way, they'll still be installed the exact same way. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get it up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get shaders installed. So the first thing you want to do is download some shaders packs. Luckily, the second link down below will take you here. This is our in-depth list of five shaders packs for Minecraft. Minecraft that are all confirmed 1.16.5 working. So as you can see, we can scroll down here. We've got all these cool shaders packs. In this video, we're going to install two. We're going to be installing Cylinder's Vibrant Shaders here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that download link. And then we also want to install Chocopic Shaders. Let's go ahead and click on that as well. Now, when you click on these, it's actually going to take you to a dedicated installation tutorial on our website for installing these shaders packs. Let's go ahead, though, and scroll down to just click on the yellow download button for Chocopic Shaders. And then we're on the official download page. What you then want to do is come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft. 1.16. Then we have this released version of Chocopic 13 V9. Go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. The download will then begin after a few seconds. Oddly enough, on Google Chrome, you probably won't even have to save this file. It'll probably just download without any issues. You may have to save it on Mozilla Firefox, though. It's 100% safe to do so. It's been downloaded by over a million people. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download sh uh, Silder's Vibrant Shaders, right? So we're going to go ahead and download Silder's Shaders. And again, we click this from our download page. It took us to a dedicated tutorial. We want to scroll down and click on this Download Silder Shader button. Is then going to take us to the official download page for Silver Shaders, where we want to make sure that we download the correct version for our computer. The better your computer, the better version you want to get. For me, I'm doing a video, so I'm going to go with this medium here. However, you may be able to go extreme if you have a really good graphics card, or if you don't have that good of a computer, you might want to go with the light version. Luckily, they all install the same way. Now, when you go ahead and click download here, it's going to take us off to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button that appears in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right once it appears after about 10 seconds. Again, nothing else this page but the red skip button when you click on that it's going to go ahead and take us off to media fire where you want to click on this blue download button right here when you do that your download will go ahead and start in the bottom left you may need to save it on mozilla firefox but you really shouldn't need to on google chrome now there's one more thing we need to download, and that is Optifine. In order to get shaders installed, you need Optifine installed to make that happen. Basically, Optifine allows shaders to run. So let's go ahead and get Optifine set up. To do that, you want to again go to the, I think, third link in the description down below. And that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth Optifine tutorial. We're going to be going through the, every, the basics in this video, but if you do have any in-depth issues or want more in-depth help, this tutorial can help you out. It also goes through at a slower pace than what I might in the video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this green download Optifine button here to be taken to Optifine's official download page. As we can see, it says Minecraft 1.16.5 here. That means that's the version we want. If uh, that isn't there, you want to click on show all versions and find Minecraft 1.16.5. But again, for us right now, it's right up here at the top. So let's go ahead and come under this version and actually click on the mirror button, not the download button. Click on this mirror button here. And when you click on that, it's going to take us off to Optifine's download page. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the purple download button here. And after a few seconds, Optifine will immediately download in the bottom left. Your, the page may refresh or something to like an ad or something when that happens. If it does, that's okay. But Optifine will still download in the bottom left. On Google Chrome, as long as it says Optifine on the title, like ours does here, you can go ahead and click Keep. And same thing on Mozilla Firefox, as long as it says Optifine on the title in the center of your screen, go ahead and save the file. Now finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have a few things. We have Chocopic Shaders, we have Silder's Vibrant Shaders, and we have Optifine, right? So we have all three of these files on our desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're probably in your Downloads folder. To find them, go ahead and click on that little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but go ahead and click on the little Windows 
icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, go ahead and type in downloads in this downloads file folder here. And when you click on that, you will find your shaders packs and Optifine in your downloads folder, drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Now, we're not completely done yet because we need to unzip this file. Now, how do I know we need to unzip this Chocopic shaders file? Well, if you're watching right very closely where you downloaded, if we come back over to Chocopic's download page right here, we can see that this says unzip file next to it, right? If you missed that little bitty text right there, you would install the shaders pack and it would not work. Every shaders pack doesn't need to be unzipped though. So as you can see here, Chocopic, if we go ahead and double click on it, it's going to have all of these different versions inside of it. However, if we open up Silder's Vibrant Shaders, it just says shaders. If you open up a shaders pack and it says shaders, it doesn't need to be unzipped. If you open up a shaders pack and it doesn't say shaders, then you're going to have a problem. So let's go ahead and unzip Chocopic. So right click on Chocopic and then go ahead and extract all and then click extract when we do that we can actually go ahead and delete the file we downloaded right like so and we can come over here to the new extracted folder that appeared when we extracted it now when we open this up we have all the different versions again extreme is going to be for amazing high-end pcs and low is going to be for lower end pcs medium is right there in the center and that's what i'm going to go with i'm going to drag that to our desktop and now we can even delete this chocobit download or this chocobit like folder that was created after extraction now on our desktop all we have is chocobit medium and silders shaders medium as well and optify so to get started we need to go ahead and install optify to do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if your Java file doesn't look like my Java file? It looks like something completely different. Where in that case, you need to go ahead and do two things. The first thing being this, download and install Java. This is Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, shaders are mods to Minecraft, so we need this version of Java in order to get that installed. It's a quick and easy three-step process and downloads everything from Java's official website. We just kind of show you how to do that. Nevertheless, once you've got that, you should be able to open up Optifine with Java. But just in case you can't, you may need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is like all the jar files you're computer and link them back to Java, making them all work happy together again. And that's how you can actually get your Java logo fixed to look like mine. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on open with, this time we're going to click on Java and click OK. That's then going to open up our Optifine installer right like so, where all we want to do is go ahead and click on this install button in the bottom left. Optifine will now install. It's super quick, super easy. From this point, it's installing. There you go. Now, if you have any issues and for whatever reason it doesn't say Optifine successfully installed here, that's most likely because you've never played Minecraft 1.16.5 before. You need to go play it with no mods, no forge, no anything, just vanilla Minecraft 1.16.5, then come back and this will work. Now let's go ahead and click OK here, and then it'll close out of the installer. Now we can delete Optifine. We don't need it anymore. Well, we do need it, just not that file. Nevertheless, now let's go ahead and get our shaders packs installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we're selecting Optifine. Now we come down here and we click on this, I actually have this Optifine 1.16.5 profile. I got to that by clicking this little arrow here, opens up this drop down box, we have this Optifine profile. Now, if you have Optifine, it says 1.16.5 dash Optifine under it, go ahead and click on that, you're good to go, you can click play, all that stuff. But just in case you don't, or if it doesn't say 1.16.5 Optifine under it, here's what you can do. To do that, we want to go to the installations tab. And then once we're on the installations tab, we want to make sure all four of these boxes right here are checked. We want to make sure modded, historical, snapshots, and releases are all checked. And as you can see, when we check modded, huh, Optifine suddenly appears. For many of you, that's going to fix this issue. You can go ahead and click play. However, for some of you, it still won't fix the issue because either it just won't show up or it won't say 1.16.5 dash Optifine under it. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and click on this plus new button here. And then you want to go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.5 native grief protected survival. It's the best survival server out there with 30 custom quests, player based economy, truly amazing. That's our medieval survival server. We also got aquatic survival. If you want traditional slash shop based survival in Minecraft, that is what aquatic survival is for. And then on top of all that, we have the best Skyblock server out there, and I don't say that lightly. Minions, rewards, custom challenges, it's truly amazing. We've even got an in-depth storyline on our Skyblock server, so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, once you've got your name in there, let's go ahead and click on this version drop-down box. Then we want to find release 1.16.5-optifine. 
Let's go ahead and click on that there. And then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so we can see better once we get in game. Most important part, though, is changing the version to 1.16.5 Optifine. Mine was at the top, though. You may have to scroll down to find yours. I do want to mention that, but mine is right up here at the top. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now click the green create button in the bottom right. And we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But most importantly, it says 1.16.5 Optifine under it. Go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button. You'll then get this warning saying that you're about to modify Minecraft. Of course you are. You're modifying Minecraft because you're installing shaders. That is modifying Minecraft. So you understand the risk. You know what you're doing. It's okay. We're going to walk you through everything in this tutorial. Go ahead and click on that green play button. And now my uh, the Minecraft launcher is going to close and it's going to go ahead and open up with Optifine installed where we can install shaders super quick and super easily. Literally, it is very, very simple to install shaders from this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu to get Chocopic and Silder's Vibrant Shaders or any shaders pack you want installed. Let's go ahead and click on the Options button here. When we click on that, we then want to go into Video Settings. Now, as you can see, here we are. We are in Video Settings, and we have this Shaders button. Now, for me, it's going to automatically open, but I do want to show you something that you can have on that could mess with shaders. I just have to figure out exactly which one that is. So give me one quick second. I'm going to figure out what that setting is, and then we'll be uh, good to show you how to turn it off and then we'll be finished to install shaders, or ready to install shaders. So now if I go and click on shaders, it's gonna say we need to turn off anti-aliasing and that's in quality. So we can go into quality and then turn off anti-aliasing. I think there may be one more in here, like one more setting that can mess, uh, mess up shaders, but I, I can't find it. So anyway, it is pretty self-forward. It tells you where to click on, the first one being quality. So that's gonna be the section and then what it is inside that section. But nevertheless, we can now go ahead and click on shaders and get them installed. To do this, you wanna go ahead and click on the shaders folder button in the bottom left. So again, that is going to be from your main menu, click on options, video settings, shaders, and then the shaders folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up our shaders packs folder where to install shaders, literally all I have to do is take them from your desktop and drag and drop them into the shaders packs folder. Now if we go ahead and close out of our shaders packs folder, here they are back in Minecraft. Sometimes you may have to click done and then click on shaders to get them to appear, but here they are. To select the shaders pack, just click on it. It's that simple. So as you can see, we click on Chocopic, it's going to reload Minecraft, and just like that, this shaders pack is installed. Now you have more additional settings on the right hand side over here of different things you can turn on and off and different quality settings you can set for your shaders. But most importantly, and something that a lot of people miss, is in the bottom right, this shaders options folder. There's a lot more settings in here that you can change for lighting and, you know, atmospherics and different things like that. For example, I had an issue with the shaders pack one time that had issues with clouds. And I was able to come in here into the advanced settings and get that fixed to where they no longer show up weird. And basically, they just weren't there. It was like there was a hole in the sky. And that was that would be fixed via uh, the shaders options. So now that we have our shaders pack selected, as you can see, it's got this uh, box around it showing it's selected. We can go ahead and click on done, done, done. And we'll jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com to check this out. I don't know where I'm going to spawn, though, so, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see. Okay, so we are on the aquatic survival server here. It is nighttime, and these shaders do look pretty good at nighttime, but uh, I think they're really going to shine if we do pee time day. So pee time day, and that's going to allow us to see. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that water. Wow. So there's no denying that shaders are installed. Actually, you can see the clouds look a little weird to me, and I was able to fix that in other packs by going into video settings and then going into the shaders options here. I'm not going to go through all that because who knows? You're just going to have to play around with it, and you can always just uh, turn clouds off with Optifine. Like You could always come in here and go into... Uh, I believe it is details and then clouds off and there you go now there are no clouds and it still looks good because this shaders pack adds in its own clouds high in the sky but nevertheless the shaders pack looks pretty good this is chocopic shaders i believe but we do have another shaders pack installed so let's go ahead and hit escape options and yes you can change shaders packs in game so if we go into video settings from our options menu click on shaders we can actually select silders vibrant shaders in game and it's going to reload minecraft we can click on done, done, and here we are in game with now silver shaders. You can see the water's a bit different. Things are a bit different, and look at that lighting. That's one of the my favorite things about shielder shaders is this lighting that comes from the sun. And I mean, it's just amazing, and how it like goes around stuff and just goes around buildings and trees and even like these goes through those fence posts. Like it's amazing what the lighting in this pack can do. Let's go ahead and look at this one at night as well, just because why not? And here's this pack at night. It's a little brighter at night, in my opinion, which is something I do like, but it's still very, very yellow due to torches. But that's not here nor there. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We have amazing Minecraft mods, tutorials, everything coming out every single day. And be sure to come join us on playdownbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Over 250 players online during peak hours. Currently, it's 9 a.m. and we've got 70 people online. But nevertheless, during peak hours, over 200 people online every single day. Nevertheless, 
My name is Nick. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Peace.